One of the things that gives organic chemistry such a bad rap is the fact that there are a lot of reaction facts to memorize. Regardless of your understanding of the principles, concepts, and theories, there still are simply a lot of reaction facts. One approach to memorization that many people find effective is the use of flashcards. Let me show you how I recommend you make flashcards, and I recommend that you make your own, by the way, because I think a lot of learning happens when you make the cards. I'll show you how I recommend making flashcards. Let's look at a reaction for an example. A primary alcohol, when treated with PCC and methylene chloride, makes an aldehyde. This is simply a fact that you must memorize. And you're likely to see this kind of question on exams, whether it's questions on a class exam, whether it's questions on the MCAT, you're likely to see people test you about these facts. And the questions likely will be one of two types. They'll either give you the alcohol and the reaction conditions and ask you to identify the product, or they'll give you the starting material and the product and ask you to identify the reaction conditions and reagents. Either way, it's flat out memorization. And an obvious way to make flashcards for this would be to make two sets of flashcards. To test your memory of what product results, you might make a flashcard where this is the front of the card, and on the back you have the aldehyde. To test your memory of the reagents and conditions, you might make a flashcard where this is the front, and on the back, you mention that it's PCC and methylene chloride. If you make these cards just a little differently, you can use a single set of cards to test both kinds of reaction facts, to test yourself about products and to test yourself about reagents and conditions. Take a look. Make a single card. On the front, put the same kind of information you did before. But on the back, in addition to putting the product, write the other question. So you'll repeat the starting material, but this time leave off the reagents and conditions. You can use this one stack of cards, looking at the front first, to test your knowledge of the products that would be formed. And you can use this stack of cards, looking at the back first, to test your knowledge of reagent methylene chloride. One set of flashcards works for both. And by the way, because details can sometimes be important, you can use the bottom part of the flashcard to fill in details that you might otherwise skip, but it would be good to know. For example, PCC is pyridinium chlorochromate. So there you have it. An efficient way to make flashcards or one stack works for both types of learning.